waterfalls and garden. <laughs> Surf's up, dudes! <laughs> I am not going swimming today. Well, gonna have a guest room. Another bag of rocks. Another bag of rocks. And wait for it. Another bag of rocks. Okay. Hey, well, the rains have died down finally, and you can see the path. <laughs> Normally, there's not a creek there, but there is now. Water everywhere. So, after a good, hard, tropical storm like that. Nothing better to do than to go to the monkey pool. Well, this is a waterfall too. Now, let's go. Got some serious wind and waves. <laughs> Knocked down some trees along the path here. We'll get it cleaned up. Actually, I'll let you in on a little secret. You've seen most of the times I go down this way to go down to the waterfalls. This little hidden pathway here that you can barely see is how you get to the monkey falls. Whee! A little secret I'm letting you in on. <laughs> Woo wee! How's that for a waterfall? <laughs> that ought to get some dirt off of me. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen it run this hard before. That's a lot of water coming down the hill. All right, jacuzzi time. Come try this. <laughs> I love it! Monkey pool! <laughs> well, the rains have stopped finally. Yeah, waves are calming down a little bit. Check out this guy over here. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Looks like a little leaf, right? Yeah, look at yeah, 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 yeah. Camouflage, huh? <laughs> Pretty cool what you find in the jungle. <laughs> Alrighty, well, the carpenter's got a good start on the guest room, and I don't really have to supervise them, they know what they're doing. So, you've seen the wonderfalls and the trail there. Now, it's time to see how much storm damage there is to my trail I meet going up north. See a few trees already that I've cleared out. 
Ugh, not this one, he's too big. <laughs> but we're gonna go further up the hill and uh, clear a little bit area because we're gonna start planting the cacao trees and the casoy, the cashews. And uh, this is one tree I already kind of cleared out of the path. <laughs> and, and so, not just for us, but for the monkeys and the animals, so there'll be fruit bearing trees further up the hill to kind of help keep the population of the animals, uh, you know, feeding themselves, taking care of themselves. It doesn't look like it's too overgrown yet, but uh, we'll see. Well, here's something I really didn't expect to see. I'm not too happy about this. This is a you know, kind of trap for a monkey or a wild boar or something. My goal is to feed the animals, not for poachers or illegal people to come and try and catch them. I might just have to dismantle this thing later. All right. Keep going. Okay. Well, I'm following the path just past that bear trap there. <laughs> and I don't remember this area here. <laughs> going down the hill and then there's a river. And there's Takio's house. <laughs> right there. <laughs> so I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe he's fixing to catch some barbecue or something for himself and his family. But uh, that explains why there's a path going this way. Question is, if this is his trail, where'd mine go? Huh. I'm gonna find where it is. Maybe I take a detour somewhere. We'll figure it out. Okay, this isn't a snake. This is actually the water line that goes to my house. So that's what this path's for. Takio went ahead and cleared a path for the water hose goes from the water tower, well the water falls to the water tower, to his house, to my house, which is well, down there somewhere. And I remembered that I kept my path going north because I want to go see what's on the North Shore. So here it is, just a little detour between the two paths. And it looks like it's pretty clear. I thought the jungle would have eaten up this path but I don't have to do too much clearing I can find a nice spot up here and start making chocolate trees <laughs> cacao trees <laughs> all right looking good well, now I'm at another fork in the road and I definitely know I didn't build the road in two directions <laughs> I think what's happening is the guys uh, you can see how clear the trail is that they've kind of built upon my trail and I can see the way that they cut theirs there they don't cut all the way down to the root like like my trail does so I'm guessing this is the workers trail this one's probably mine going this way I hope <laughs> anyways it's all downhill once I got to turn around I hope. Alrighty. Made it about halfway up the hill. And I'm really happy to see that this trail is pretty much clear. Now, from a couple years ago, there was a typhoon that just tore down big trees and everything like that. And I don't know how, but somehow this trail, I think maybe the other guys have been using it as well. It was just the way I left it about three years ago when I made it so good enough for me head back down see how the guys are doing building the guest room and then we'll come back tomorrow and start planting our fruit trees along the path here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut spots it's actually gonna be like mixed within I like cut a little space here and the trees are gonna blend in with the rest of the forest and of course I'll put a little ribbon so I know which one's mine. 
but ah, I'm happy to see I'm not going to have to do too much work on uh, this trail. It's just as I left it. Going down. Carefully and slowly. All right, the carpenters are hard to work down below. Look what I got here. That's right, another bag of rocks. No, not really. This, is, we're gonna have fun with some people here. If you take these things here, and I go, let's see, this one like this, this one like this, and this one like here, and here, and then you go like that, and you put it on a tree. <laughs> People are gonna walk by, they're gonna wonder. Yeah. Trees are looking. So let's go have some fun. All right, there's my trail camera. Still up running, taking pictures. We got a nice little flower growing next to it. Isn't that pretty? Aw. <laughs> Anyways, so you're walking down the trail here. You're heading towards my house. You're thinking about cutting down some trees because it's illegal here in the protected forest land. And then you see this big guy. Isn't that a little bit scary? <laughs> we'll see what kind of reaction we get from people when we come down the trail. <laughs> Except Prada. She doesn't care. And another bag of rocks. And another Another bag of rocks! <laughs> Christian is supervising. Doing a good job too. And we are back at the AUV house, which I think means anonymous, ugly visitor, or maybe it's just the owner's initials. <laughs> and I remember last week we went to Haley's Bee Farm, I'm checking out all the, and I still don't know how to open this fence, uh, checking out all the stuff for beekeeping, which we'll be doing next year. And uh, cacao, cacao. And we're going to go to Haley's Bee Farm again this week. We're going to get some hands-on beekeeping training. As long as that chicken doesn't attack us. Looks scary. Woo!
Like a tornado 